this is actually my father and my brother. They're both Foothills ranchers and they do a lot of burning down there. And I'd like them to explain to you why we do it, why, why it's valuable. Well, first of all, the Kanza Indians, after whom this was, was named, used to burn the prairies. In the spring of the year, they'd uh, pull up big balls of grass and tie them together with rawhide and set it on fire. And the man would get on a horse and drag it as far as it would go until it burned out and just set you know, thousands, thousands, thousands of acres on fire. They did it so the grass, the old grass be gone, the new grass coming green. That draws the buffalo. Why do we burn today, John? Because uh, we wouldn't have a prairie if we didn't. If you don't burn the prairie, the prairie's adapted, the grasses there are adapted to fire. If they don't have fire, it'll turn into a scrub forest pretty quick. So you have to have fire to keep it a prairie. In a couple of generations, it'll all be scrub trees instead of grass. But we, the ranchers burn because the uh, same reason the Indians did. Uh, for the Indians, it drew in the buffalo. For the ranchers, it makes good uh, grass for the, for the cattle. And a steer can gain 15% more in the summer on burn pasture than unburned. So it's, it has economic value. Most important thing, as Josh said, is the ecological value. If we didn't burn the pastures, we'd have weeds, we'd have trees, and scrub grass instead. And we no have, prairie. And no prairie. We'd have, and the Flint Hills, there's about 4 million acres of native grass here. There used to be hundreds of millions of acres of tall grass prairie. This is all that's left, about 4% of what once went back to Indiana, out to central Kansas, north to Canada, south to Texas. All that's left is the Flint Hills of Kansas and a little bit down in Oklahoma, the Osage Hills. So we, th we believe not only for the economic value, but for the ecological value of maintaining the last significant tall grass prairie in North America, maybe in the world.